Yeah, I don't know, man. I think it's interesting. Um, I guess we should go into like a last, last topic. If you guys got anything you want to talk about, now would be a good time to tell me. Instead of uh, anything you want to talk about, let's try and just jump on. No, I don't have anything, um, man. Yeah, nothing. Nope. Oh, actually, no. Um, we'll be here after isolation. What oh. do you think? Do you think? <laughs> do you think the? Um, what else do you think will change? What do you think will stick around, or change uh, after all of this is done? Honestly, I think we're gonna have a lot of people think they're Chinese and wear masks, now. Um, gloves. I think I think that will stay. I don't think that will go out of fashion. I think that's that'll become a thing, you know. Um, I would do that. <laughs> I'm, not doing, I'm not doing that. I think I think social distancing, all right, will actually become a thing. Like it will stay. Like no one's gonna be like up in everyone's face again the way they were. That's yeah, right? I mean, somebody sleep. TFL will be losing a lot of money. Though. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> That's for, that's for sure. The Sneezes, line. it's peak for you, fam. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, it's peak for you. Yeah, part of, especially rush hour periods. The central I line. Trans- I think transport will go up in sales. I mean, you say what's in it. Oh, that's- I, well, I think, I think overground will stay the same, but play- things like buses and tubes that, and trams that are like overly packed because obviously they're quite... Actually, yeah, but the other um, thing is, well, this is London. Yeah. If we go back to work and stuff, then there's no doubt that it's it's gonna carry on like the way it was before. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know if I'll go back to doing group salsa classes anymore, man. I might, I might just have to hire a <laughs> an individual instructor it's from just, now on. We'll be making. Now and well, like, is that what is that your normal screen yeah that's your... yeah that's an issue yeah man <laughs> that's not a bad backdrop though yeah, yeah. Man, just... just move the plug out the way on the side and that's it, it looks like a backdrop Hey, the light's finally starting to shine through a little bit. Gee! <laughs> what, have you got your curtains closed aside? He's like... <laughs> I'm trying to get some sunshine. But anyways, man, let's get back into it. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast so far. That was a little break. Uh, Joe's internet is obviously shit, so... Oh, well. Wow, this guy's really eating watermelon on screen. Allow me, man. That is so so black. Anyways. I don't even know why that's a stereotype. How how, how did that become a stereotype? I I don't know. That's just what it is for you right now. But anyway, so we we were talking about what... Sidra, why did you bring us back to the conversation that we were chatting about? What what was going to change and what is... uh... Oh yeah. Gonna stick around. What, what was, yeah. What what was gonna stay the same or what was gonna change after this? And I no, think man. Instagram Live will become more of a thing. Yeah, yeah, live streaming. Yeah, I said, I said masks and shit will become a thing. Yep. Podcasts so, will probably grow. So that's gonna yeah, become uh-huh. a thing. Everybody's got a podcast now. Fucking up, podcasts are everywhere now. Hey man. Um, what on it from earth, though? Not gonna. I'm ahead. I'm ahead of his time, man. I was basically making podcasts like three, four years ago. We're chatting shows. I don't know what niggas are doing now. Ah, it's anyway. Yeah, can we just leave this conversation, man? Because we like discuss. <laughs> Why is it getting you emotional, sir? Now, what's, what's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know what to say because I can't already sell it. All right, so no. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I don't know what to say because you really kind of, kind of, kind of like said it. Right, you know, know, UK versus USA is trending right now. Uh, okay. I, I mean, 
Go through, go through some of the tweets. What are they saying? That's what I'm on. I'm on Twitter. Okay, all right, all right. UK versus US is trending, and they're talking about talking about doing like a clash, UK versus America. I'm seeing names like H on here, so we're definitely gonna take it else. <laughs> um, Santander. Well, we'll take it out, man. We don't know when shit. But anyway, shout out to all the UK niggas. That... I think they got bars. Unfortunately, a lot of you don't. And that's just how I see it. But, um, somebody better clip this. But, um, I want to talk about uh, businesses. Yeah, we already did. You... Yes. Nah, we did. Ooh, did we? Businesses? Did no, we... we didn't. No, we were talking about, um, Pubs and well, we, yeah, pubs Boston. and and uh, you were talking about. We touched briefly on live shows. That was it. I'm talking about small businesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. And business, it. businesses, business. Basically, businesses that businesses that are small. Cause I know they're not the creams. Yep. struggling you know what though i don't think creams would be struggling if they if they're on the you know uber eats they are, just eat platform. They are. That's, a yeah because half they are. Oh, yeah because half of, of them. half of it is the experience of actually being there <laughs> so if you remove that aspect then it's like uh, well the whole point is to, the whole point to is the... to eat inside there though yeah yeah so it's like because obviously, when you're ordering, when you're ordering on a restaurant, if if you really think about it, where you order are restaurants that have everything. So they have them, they have their appetizers, they have their mains, and they have their desserts. You're not, you're not ordering. Yeah, why am I ordering a fucking cake? You know, <laughs> you're not ordering from yeah. one spot and then get huh? And sending that. I'm on Zoom. <laughs> I mean, oh. I don't know, like, I, I personally myself, like, would order food, right, from a restaurant, and then later on would want something, so would order dessert. Yo, for us, yeah, you who orders dessert, though? Yeah, Me? no, my mum was my mom was taking uh, dinner, but I did it after. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't getting but pressed, man. But I listen, <laughs> It yeah, always but... seems to happen, doesn't it? But um, <laughs> this time, it's, uh, this time it's gonna happen all the time, though, because I didn't even got a choice. But um, I wasn't gonna say, mm. yeah, I don't order dessert, man. Like, okay, but uh, and you know what's funny? When I ordered from Creams for the first time, I'm gonna order this movie. I'm gonna friend to Joe. Like the guy came to me. The guy brought a broken fucking Are container. You like it broke. <laughs> How? 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 I don't know. He, and you know what? He was so slick with it because I wanted a refund. I look in the bag, yeah. I see it broken. The nigga's running off on his ped fund. Like, he knew. He, he, <laughs> he knew he was bringing me a broken product. The drivers are going to take no responsibility. I don't give a fuck, though, because I can just call the beat, get my money back, and just be like, yo, I'll keep it free, bro. You can't call the beat. Also, so they they won't take the they won't take the thingy. If it's just eat, that's a different story because just eat it's their own drivers. They'll come. The restaurant will come back, pick up the food, then give you a refund. With Uber Eats, that's not their drivers, so they can't they can't vouch for it. So they just give you a refund back, but you just got to send a picture. I love how Sidra's face just stayed there. Serious after that sentence. That's a joke. <laughs> 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 but like yeah it's true but fam you like fam there's i can't even like the creams delivery thing is dead do you know it's... how they fucking because because you can tell you, you you can tell when company does deliveries or not they brought the drink the same way they serve it on the table bro. it has the hole at the top of the table what, you think the driver's gonna keep that shit safe man <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fam. i can only imagine I can only imagine how they're gonna package the cakes and shit. Yeah, I mean what, they have they, 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 their boxes, all right. Come on, man. Because 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 I know their boxes have like some it's sort like... of like lining on them, but yeah, you know, but you gotta I remember know, I know yeah, well the way stuff. You, you got you, but you gotta remember though, 
Especially mm. the people in the motorbikes, yeah. They just dash it in a little box and go riding and it's all bumping and shit. That's true. Because that's how my drinks spill. <laughs> the guy was just walking. Man, they had my cups, yeah. They just had a little cup holder, a brown bag. The guy was walking like this with it. Wait, can I not ask something? Did they not put cling to around the top? Yeah, but that shit didn't work, bit. The shit spilled. <laughs> 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 That's the what? Right, they've wrapped it around quite a few times, so when it does cut, oh, I, gave, fine. I gave them, I gave them half a star or some shit on Uber Eats, and I wrote, "Driver fucked up my food. You man didn't give, give me what I wanted. I ain't even gonna cry for my money back because I ain't broke." I just left oh, okay. Uh, you have to flex on the on the review as well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, that wasn't even because obviously with cream, that with creams, yeah. When you order from them, it, they 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 give you like, a, oh, thank you for helping businesses stay stay alive and shit. And that's okay. Yeah, I was like, you know what? Salute to them, innit? That was the <laughs> idea, innit? Oh, man, they need to work on them. Why can't they just have a? Why can't they just have a different? Like, you see how when you order from like these, uh, yeah. they have that they have the little plastic thing on top. Why don't you just get something like that that actually keeps it in? I don't give because like, I don't get like you know what I'm saying. I don't know oh, why they gotta have this open thing with a hole on top and clean for you. That shit didn't even work. It's built. And then you're sending, and mean, then you're sending brothers with a motorbike. Come on, motorbike. That man, they're just bumping into anything like that. They're, they're, they're <laughs> reckless when they drive. It's not even like it's a car. Can you, Sucks. Can you hear about Primark? Ah? Huh? You hear about Primark? What happened with Primark? Right, that's still relevant. Yeah. I had to let go of all the well, majority of their employees. They they went from earning like three point something million a, like a month or something like that to earning zero. They don't have an online yeah, platform. Yeah, cool. They yeah, don't they don't have, have an online platform. But you know what I'm saying? That, <laughs> it's so stupid. These businesses, yeah. The, the thing is, all of these businesses during this time, they won't make money. As soon as they're open, they're going to be back apart. Do you know what I mean? It's just that they That's can't afford to. Yeah. They're <clears throat> right now paying them, but the, I will guarantee you, as soon as these, um, as soon as this pandemic situation or whatever is over, right, and people go back to working, they'll be up there again. They'll, I mean, it's not like it's always oh, gone forever. People, I feel, I, I feel like they'll just end up opening up again, and it will just be the case of, you know, getting back to it. It's but interesting. Right now, I actually yeah. think I actually believe people will start online shopping more when this is over. Uh, I think I think what? I think people yeah because you you'll get accustomed to people are going to get accustomed to this. The only thing that the only thing that's going to make people want to leave their house more is activities and job. Uh, In terms same. of shopping and shit. People. I think a lot of the people that didn't do online shop because Boohoo Man is winning. That shit is skyrocketing. Is it? Especially Even clothing? Clothing's winning right now. Yeah. They're yeah, winning. The Boohoo Man is winning. Nah, no, man. No. Boohoo Man is winning. Sports Direct is still winning. Because oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All, all, remember, all the cheap shit that's always been cheap is still cheap. <laughs> yeah, they ain't changed. Uh, it's just yeah, now yeah, you have yeah. to go online. Uh. So when you was get when you was getting that four four pound top from Primark, you're like, ah, right, fuck him. I gotta go Boohoo Man now because that's the only thing I can do. And yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Places like Boohoo Man is only online. So because they're gonna be used to doing this now, going on Boohoo Man, going on Sports Direct online. I believe when when the shit's over, people aren't gonna be thinking about buying clothes. They're gonna be thinking about having fun. Clothes is an. I don't think Primark is gonna be. Boom. They're not gonna have the same the same I would say sales rate that they had prior to isolation. Nowhere is straight yeah. away. Nowhere is straight away. They're gonna start from the bottom again. But my point is that it's not like the industry is lost. Basically, I think yeah, if anything, man, they're gonna lose customers. Uh-huh. You're, you're you're not listening to the point, fam. If no, you fall, if you get accustomed, to... start, no, they won't. They won't lose customers. They just will like, lose customers. What they won't. Mean? People go to Primark, yeah. For what reason? Because their range, because it's cheap or whatever, right? People will continue to not adjust their clothes anymore. They have Boohoo Man does next day deliveries, fam. The only the only reason Primark was 
they're live is because the instant. Yeah. You buy it, you get it at the same day. That's the only reason you buy it. But, how? My life changed, didn't it? <laughs> my life changed. But I don't do it anymore. I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of people that's like me. And why? Okay, you gotta remember all of these people that used to run to Primark and not really be about this online shit and are now realizing that you can get it at the same price online and it doesn't cost any anymore are gonna be like oh I don't need to go to Primark anymore and drop 300 pounds I can do that shit online True. that's what you're missing you're missing that point you don't have to you don't have to go to Primark anymore you don't have to go queue up at Top Man at 12 o'clock steaming hot and you're there for like half an hour sweating trying to spray yourself and you ain't gonna do that shit no more you can sit at home on your laptop put like your home, have the lady on FaceTime be like yo babe what t-shirt do you want let me order that for you right now one thing yeah people you you got online uh food shopping as well you can order online everywhere as that tesco sainsbury's yeah why are people not constantly doing that why are they still going that's what, I'm, that's what no but that's what i'm saying nah, 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 but, yeah but they're out of stock man they're out of stock man don't even try to bring growth don't try to bring pandemic grocery that we need every day <laughs> to close. Yeah. You're going down the person's throat and don't let them talk. Yeah, so shut up and let me Whoa, my point across. Oh, energies. Uh, energy. <laughs> I'm not doing constantly. Yeah. I keep. Trying yeah. to shove your camera. Right, just tell me your point. Your camera, no, because that's what you've been trying to do the whole time. I tell it not, not listening to me and let me put my point forward. I did that's exactly you point forward. You said, say, you said say it's brief. Why are you? Did you let me finish my point? Did you let me clarify what I'm trying to say? Uh, oh. No, you didn't. Oh. Oh. I said to my car, man. Let's go, let's go. I didn't want to make my point. Oh, boy. <laughs> Problem. So what's your point? Sharif, do you think after the way that you 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 can't wanna make it look like you're gonna take a W there, right? No, I did take a W though. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. If you don't wanna make your point, I'll just finish my point then. So <laughs> people are, you can't you can't discuss you just let me finish my point. You yeah, but you, this yourself, so you do, you continue doing you. Listen, isolation in the UK, I think everybody's doing them. But listen, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was a good one, actually. But uh, <laughs> you got you got to give me that one. You got to give me that one. You got to give me that. That was a good one. Come on, man. that was a good one. <laughs> Even Joe was that was a good one. Uh, <laughs> we had a whole conversation about yeah. isolation in the UK doing doing you, yeah. <laughs> But um no 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 obviously if you don't want to finish your point, you don't want to finish your point. But I was just I was just saying obviously you brought up like grocery shopping and why people were shopping. Why I brought up grocery shopping because right yeah but this isn't me just coming out with oh this is what I think seeing everyone on social media, right? I've been seeing say that they they miss physically going out, shopping picking up the clothes, trying on. You've got to understand it's human nature to physically want to be there as well. Online mm. shopping is convenient, yes. However, right, you've got to remember that that is also part of people's routine. With the girls, oh, where you want to go today? Oh, let's go do some shopping. That way of going out on Oxford Street, you know, tr bloody Trafalgar Square, where wherever they were going, do you know what I mean? They were mm. going Brent Cross, they were going Westfall, wherever they're going, they're going that's part of the going out. Yeah, but you're talking about a, uh, like a particular well, demographic, yeah. And whole, we we man we don't go we don't go shopping to try on jumpers together and be like, Yo, you can't let that's, me that's finish that. that's what we do. before you interfere, right? Yeah. So you 
he would think like that. I'm a lady, right? So that's why I'm yeah. saying that go Primark, right? Yeah. The majority yeah. of women go to yeah, yeah, yeah. women go to, right? Some women yeah, have yeah. sizes in Primark and the comfortability mm. of their clothes. That's why I'm mm. saying Primark in initial yes, when go coming back so out of this. Are you are you is your point that Primark but you're, you're talking about a particular group of people that go shopping to try and go to each other. But it's not even like a woman thing. People, people generally want to go and try and close regardless. That's yeah. what I'm saying. But my, my, but my, my, my only point is, if you get accustomed to a way of doing things, Oh, but I was, I was scrolling on the ground. <laughs> The flip. Yeah, I don't know what happened there still. Is it? Yeah. Oh, well, you're back now. Don't you air my phone call as well? No, it was on airplane mode. I mean, not airplane mode. Um, do not disturb. Sign up. Yeah. Oh. So it cut you back, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the heck. Are you recording? Are you recording? You're recording. Uh shout out to Joe's dead internet though. That's probably <laughs> gonna be the theme. <laughs> that's probably gonna be the that's gonna that's, that's, that's the that's, that's gonna be the name of the podcast. Um that's definitely gonna be the, I don't know what the name will be yet, but we'll figure it out. But yeah, so me and Sidra was talking about potentially people either shopping online or going to the grocery stores or the shops. Um, I, I don't know. You should, the, Sandra, ask a woman. So, what, what is a, what's your ideal shopping experience? Does it have to be in a shop as a female? Do you need to try it on before you pay for it? Do you not know your size? Like, what is the reason why a woman needs to go to the fucking shop? Like, because for me, like, I'm just out here. I know my size. I'm going, okay, this is my size, but gee. Now, no, I heard a conversation before you start. I know, BBW. Oh, my God, these jeans might not fit in my cam. Oh, this top is <laughs> kind of my TD. Like, I'm just... <laughs> like, I know. I, know this. <laughs> <laughs> I hear about this shit. I hear about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good time, folks. I'm just saving myself from her saving and then <laughs> I, don't, I do get it. Yeah. Do you? But like, you can, I, yeah, I'm a fat dude. Okay. What the hell? So, okay, look, for example, yeah, I like Let me, to... before, before you... Even the size, it didn't fit. And then I bought a pair of jeans that was too big, which is why I ended up with a music video. I cut it into shorts. 
Bruh, what is this, bro? Oh, it's recording. My goodness, um, man. I don't like uh, going. I don't. I don't like shopping online. right, because but last year, the year before that, right, when yeah. I was um, getting like outfits for yeah. my birthday, right, I, I thought to myself, yeah. you know what? Let me go online. Let me um, try and see if I can something. Yeah. I kid you not, right? I ordered. A good 10 15 outfits, right? From five different online uh stores, right? And um, I went on to like their places, um, you know, me, right? So, is that shop? Ping, um in general right it's like a it's like a girl's thing like you need to get out for this event as well then make a day of face it. it's also something like a it's like a socializing thing as well do you know what i mean mm. i mean personally i'm the kind of person i don't like going shopping with people right i like to go do my thing but it's my my time I can till I can take a day here I'll go back return I get my money back done all right I don't have to go through their bloody you know online um customer service be like you know I this mean, you didn't even go through the customer service you, know, you didn't I'm, even make a phone call there, there have been cases there have been cases when I've you know for example I've sent my order but my refund hasn't come through then I find out that for some oh. reason they didn't in a sense these experiences for me right going to the shop buying the outfit is so much more easier and again like you said it's about it fitting right some each shop has different sizes right in terms of it's one size but it just fits differently right so it's headache for me to order from on go online right thinking it's going to fit me coming doesn't fit me then having to go then send it back then having to look for something else do you know what I mean? That's frustration for me. For not a lot of girls, it isn't, right? But a lot of outfits, right? Um, and they'll buy 10. A, a good six of them are going back anyway. They're only going to keep the few, right? It's that process that gets frustrating. A majority of the girls, they do like to just go out and get stuff. Do you know what I mean? They go shopping physically. It's so big sense going out there, physically looking at the thing and then seeing, oh, okay, I want this and taking it away. Online shopping is great. Don't get me wrong. It's convenient. It's easy and it's accessible for everyone around the world. Right. But physically going and doing it as well. A lot of these big branded stores, for example, yeah, Gucci, you know, Louis Vuitton, whatever. Yep. People enjoy doing luxury shopping. They yeah, but you're going into a different no, sector no, no, no. there because luxury no, no, no. shopping is a completely sector. different experience of Primark saying. and getting a no, no, two-time no, 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 It's not really about different se like, sectors. Yes, it is, I'm, because no, Primark no, and Gucci, no, you go to the Gucci store to flex. Yeah. What I mean, you go to flex. It's about experience. <laughs> you know, right? so, yeah, but that's a different experience to Primark. Yeah, yeah. Brands, right? For example, H&M, New Look, you know, um, yeah, that's my experience. Man. That's cheap shopping. Their outfits, their their what do you call it? Their like in store, um, you know, stock isn't online a hundred percent. They have limited stock online and different stock in actual. Yeah, but you know, you can go online and then reserve it for the store. You can pick up from the store. Yeah, right? that's if, if they have that. Right? that's if they have that in the store as well some yeah. of it in the store right that's another thing yeah. see these online brands right they're specifically yeah. online you don't get them you don't get their stores open on the high street yeah, or anything yeah. do you see what yeah. i mean the high street stores, right they may have an online presence but their online presence is very limited as well right so that's another factor as well right yeah. what you get on the streets right in the shops is completely different from what you get online as well so that's the other thing so that's why i'm saying personally i don't think it's the case that 
they will completely go out of um there, there'll be no need for them that's what i'm saying there will be a need for them it will take it'll be slow but they will get back to where they will if not exactly where they will but somewhere you know to that level because people are still going to want to go out there they still want to go out there and buy h&m come on new look yeah i wasn't saying people aren't going to go back to the shop they're just not going to be at the level they was yeah which again some it may be the case and it may not be the case we can't say you're, you're, saying, yes. hey, you're counting from your experience that boohoo man etc right? but you don't know like, all right, all right, go on. You win, whatever. <laughs> no, I didn't even win this. You, you, you said some good points. The only problem is, I feel like you're just you're, you're looking at it more from a female point of view, and you're not even looking at it as the whole time. Yes, females are going to go shopping for their Friday night outfits. That's a thing that you do. Is that's a that's a typical thing that you do. That's that, that's normal. You get me? I go going, yo, lady, let's go to the shop and get out of the same come time. To the that's a thing you do. That's a motive. That's a motive. Though. That's like saying I'm not gonna go bowling. That's a motive. I'm just talking about the general every shop. Yeah, more time every time I go inside a H and M. Don't you know, care about yo. Yeah. Like, let's, let's not talk outfits no, because true. even man who can. Huh? I said, even, I said more time whenever I'm in yeah, H&M yeah. anyways, um, the, uh, the, the, the till at the mail section is never open anyway, so I can't even lie. <laughs> As everyone yeah, our, section, our section is more time there's more things for us why i mean i do know why it is because we do too what no 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 worries you're the only one that's froze joe like oh the way too long guys always freeze it i can see cinder cleave i can't see you though <laughs> <laughs> You're full of, you're full of, take out, take away the load. Bloody hell, mate. Because there's people that shop. There's people, people shop just to shop. And I think the people that shop to just to shop, just some random bits of bulbs. I can just do that shit online. But you know what, Sharif? People that shop just to shop, shop online. Anyway, mm. they like having packages. Oh, that's man and yeah, but yeah, but yeah, I mean, shop just as was online or on the streets. But I feel like the people that go streets and do that have now been at home and been like, wow, oh, I really went to Primark for no reason or H&M for no reason. We're going to be a that, right? But you do things right. But look at everyone, they're frustrated. They're frustrated sitting at home, right? Where you can online shop, right? And do what you're doing. So, why are you really missing out other than going and interacting with people, whatever, right? But it's human nature to want to go out there and interact with people. It's human nature to want to physically go to a place to see things. It's, it's just how it is. So, that's why I think, in a sense, you're not wrong, but it's not like it's going to be affected if that industry or that sort of area of like you know the shops etc like i don't think it's going to completely die down people are going to online shop they were online shopping before this anyway so i don't think it's made any difference other than the fact that online shopping physically has become won't more be reliable it's become more convenient not even reliable convenient because it's not reliable have you not seen everywhere I've been shopping online, right? It's well, I've all it's I'm paying for next day delivery, Prime. Oh, your order will be with you on Monday. I've ordered it on bloody Wednesday. So why are you telling me it's coming? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. So, I don't know what mobile ass do you order from? But I don't know that it should be. 
I said, I don't know what burger as you he ordered from man like that is real. He said Amazon, yeah, oh, Amazon Prime. You you must you must have forgotten to pay the fucking monthly fee or something because uh, what, what Amazon Prime is. Smart comment. <laughs> 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 Yeah, right. go, go. Dates on the on the thing you when you order are slow, so please bear. Oh. That's with different. Your order, yeah, that's different. You you on I've ordered today. Your order will be with you by Monday, etc. But whether it it comes tomorrow or not is up to the bloody. Do you know what I mean? The process of time is causing a traffic online. It's causing a traffic online, meaning these delivery drivers are actually, right? One of my friends, right? He's a delivery driver and he works. He gets all these parcels. Mm. He's having to do more work now than he was doing before with the amount of deliveries he's having to do. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Right? right? Mm. Because everyone's ordering online. So, yeah, it's a it, it's it's a it's um reliable because it reliable because it's yeah but that's only for now though obviously after the pandemic we'll be back to normal but um yeah i hear what you're saying i i ain't got no points about that i think you're pretty much correct you didn't win though but you're correct so, i can i can i can you right now you're the one who's trying to win you're the one who's Finish. Joe, why are you not talking? Yeah, Joe ain't said shit for time, man. Call your dead yeah. end, fam. What you saying, Joe? Listen, man. How was your shopping experience, man? Like, what are you, what are you doing for shopping? shopping what's, what's up? I ain't been shopping for nine. Yeah, well, what's your shopping experience? Like, what do you do? What do I do? I, apart, I go, I I'm go ops, shopping. Apart from ops farming now. I go, I go shopping like once every four or five months. <laughs> Damn near six. And most of the time, I spend most of my money on sneakers. So uh, I wear the same stuff. I've been, I'm, I'm still, I'm still using it. I'm still having the same outfits I had back in. Oh, we're not in America, man. Just say trainers, man. I've, really I've, I never sneakers, said, I never man. said, I've like, never said no, trainers. So I've always, I've always, I've always said sneakers. I'm not gonna change that. So extra. Man. I ain't changing that. So extra. This guy really wants. Take to, this guy's gonna start saying sold and. I say. Uh, I say so. Why does if you call cons- solder in Kenya? Why? I call it hit it. I call it that here as well. What do you mean? What? I grew up I saying. How do you say soda? Yeah, because I I, I named the actual dr- I named the actual drinks instead. But it's if so- I say if I if soda. I if, if 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 it's a collective, I'll say soda. How, 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 <laughs> this guy thinks he's American. Nah, I'm just an immigrant kid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you in Kenya for four weeks. Like, don't give me that. I'm born in Kenya, bullshit, man. Like... Four weeks. I spent my I spent my summers there. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you on? What? Summers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that doesn't even count. You was on a holiday, Wait, man. What are you talking so about? Fam, you, the first time you went there was, was when you were 22, fam. You can't even, you can't even rep Uganda, fam. What are you talking about? You need to speak for the other person. Hey, Peraz is just a hater, isn't it? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Peraz is a top hater, cuz. You got the lab. I don't agree with them. You just went there for holidays, though. That don't mean, that don't mean, that don't mean, oh, I don't know. What's a, what's a, what's the holiday hey, if I? Saying? Why do I feel like I need to talk for others? No, if they did that or not. Okay, <laughs> you have to, you got to understand my role on the podcast. My role is not to to not on your team. Bro. That's not a debate. <laughs> you got to play the devil's advocate <laughs> every day. If he if he tell me. Michael Jackson is the best dancer in the world. I'm gonna be like, no, nah, fuck Michael Jackson. I didn't. Nah, I understand. <laughs> what do you mean? She can't get the rentals of spots in the bitch with pop smoke. Why you got that? Listen, I'm just done. 
I'm just out here to... <laughs> you keep sending me shit, man. On the podcast. We've got like three hours of content now, bro. I know. Probably what like an hour. Are, are, are we still going on? You said you had one more topic. Yeah, because, yeah. We did touch up on the topic. Come, I like to go and I told you to go Nah, before we were talking about what was going to change, you you said you had one more topic. What was the topic? I did. We kind of discussed, well, I said, which businesses do you think would last? We'll still that was the topic. Small businesses and shut up. All right, so anyway. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I don't have anything else to really talk about. Podcast. How are you doing today? I mean, there's other topics, <laughs> but Citra don't know about like six nine and UK drill and and um, celebrity shit. I mean, I don't really want to talk about fucking Love Island shit. There's a lot of Love Island shit. All right. Obviously, Conrad being racist. racist. What? G. Yeah, he, he he was texting Sophie on some racial tip like, "Oh, I'll fuck black people" type of shit. Um, but <laughs> Joe doesn't know nothing about that, so it's not a conversation we can really well, have. I didn't know. Um, what? What's this? What, what's the racism did... thing? What? <laughs> what? What happened? Oh, no, something about like him not liking black people. Some dude just just doesn't like black people. Well, you don't know, Joe. It's a love man guy. Yeah, I love it. I'm not too surprised anyways, to be fair. Well, nah. Obviously, oh, strike two on COVID-19 plea, judge denies release for R. Kelly. Hey, what do you think about people in prison in COVID-19? Should they be allowed to be released? I know 6 9 got released. Depends, um, really. Depends what R. Their, Kelly's trying to their, plead to be released. What their crime was. Does it depend? Depend what their crime was, or does it? De- because there, there, there's people with coronavirus in prison. That's why people are trying to get out. There's one lady that had her husband in jail for only fucking stealing some shit from a grocery store. Yeah. He died of COVID nineteen because they wouldn't release him. Yeah. I mean, define the levels of crime because I'm not. They're not fucking. They're letting I niggas die say, left, right, and center. Can I say something, right? Yeah, of course. Um, uh, basically. If- I, I know you brought the topic up of, about the prison, but actually there's something else that I wanted to sort of, um, that I've seen, I saw it a few days back, right? Jeez, um, okay, in coming with the observations, right? yes. Um, actually, you know, a lot of uh, workers in hospital and in frontline, right, what we're considering frontline, then in hospitals and stuff, they're not considering, they're not considered frontline unless they're physically there taking care of the patients. However, they're considered second line, but they're not getting the proper, the correct PPE, which is the protective gear, mm. right, to keep them safe. Mm. Meaning they've just got those flimsy masks, right, and they're having to go in and still check the patients, right, and then walking Ooh. away. But because they're not considered the the correct doctors, yeah, to I, handle, saw that, right? I, saw that, yeah. I feel like that is just out. Of, that's just that's. That's wrong. That's completely wrong because that's... who 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 do they check exactly? Oh, no. so they're still dealing with people like patients with COVID yeah, nineteen. They still interact from, from with the same people. hospital or somewhere else. Like where are they? Like why are they so different? I, don't get... I mean, like I've seen this. All the hospitals. Oh, okay. right? For example, yeah, my um, this girl that I know, right, um, her husband is a doctor, right? Yeah. He's dealing with. Um, uh, he's dealing directly with these patients whatever right but because he's not considered like frontline doctor right because he's not part of that department specifically right he's not being yeah. given the correct yeah the correct ppe however right he's still being asked to come and check on those patients so how is that acceptable Right. First, you're getting told you're not frontline doctor, and then you're not getting told that you're get, going to have the correct gear to protect you. However, you still have to go. These patients that are suffering with COVID nineteen are okay. Mm. How is that acceptable? This is this is the government. Yeah, it kind of defeats the whole purpose. Government are doing that. How they said that they're not. Exactly. 
and these yeah. 15 they haven't been given the, uh, the correct um yeah and that's why you see a lot of doctors right are actually dying from it because technically not doctors since i've been treated the exact same like it's it's defeating the whole purpose you know what i mean if i'm doctor is out for right i'm not getting treated i, I, I gotta talk back to you you might really clap no but i'm saying people are going out there and doing it but are you clapping though i'm just asking no i did when it first <laughs> happened but after nah. that i'm saying the way i see people gathering i'm not finishing a minute yeah but you just brought it up and i just need to get off my show to every man i'm sure everybody clapping yeah if you out here in the streets doing your garbage, don't clap. <laughs> Half of these men are clapping for the ground to look cool for a click. Yeah, I see it. I see it. This clapping shit is wash. I think people are gonna hate you for saying it, but this clapping shit is wash. I ain't gonna fuck, man. It's, it's a waste of my time. Listen, we can salute you women. I can make a trap. We can do salute videos. We can do so many things to salute you guys. Yeah. Yep. I don't need to be standing outside my door and clapping for you. First of all, you don't even see me clapping anyway. It's, it's a matter. And I, I know it's going to sound rude for me to say that because I sound heartless. And found, believe me, I respect all the NHS ladies out there. Listen, my mum does um, recruitment and thing for the NHS. My mum my, my got respect. She's doing night shifts in our hair. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, night yeah, shift, yeah, yeah, yeah. She does some observations in that. You get me? Yeah, she does yeah, observations yeah, yeah. for the NHS in that. So my man's not disrespecting the NHS in any form of way. But you mind clapping and making my man look any better, fam? Let's be, let's talk facts. <laughs> cool. Facts. Facts. <laughs> and you know what? And you know what? This is how you're clapping. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to the NHS. Big shout out to the NHS. We salute you, dog. We lit, we lit. And then you post it. <laughs> Defeating the point. You're just looking for a couple of likes and a couple of clicks. This clapping shit is wild. It's, it was a cool idea for like the first week. Maybe yeah, the yeah. second week. That's this shit's like every Friday. This is I think it's uh, every yeah. Thursday, 8 p.m. Yeah. And fam, you know what? Yeah, I saw one video yeah, where people are standing outside the hospital. Yeah, because I think thing thing you had it on camera. Uh, that guy from Love Island. What's his name again? That that you Alex. Uh, that's a that's a. a... Yes, Alex. Don't yeah, my guy, my guy, my guy, my guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing hella people ca- gathering outside a hospital clapping. I'm in the social distancing, dog. <laughs> real. And fun this clapping thing, man. It was cool for the first two weeks, but like, you look like really like. I've seen some good tributes on TV adverts where people are doing videos. Uh-huh. I fuck with that. Uh-huh. I've seen the YouTube. I've seen the YouTube. Things stay at home, slid to NHL. I fuck with the charities. It's clapping outside my window where no one is going to see me and just go. <laughs> government um, are only treating those those few hand doctors as frontline and giving them the correct equipment, whereas all the other doctors are, um, that are in the same hospital that are dealing with these issues, that are de- interacting with the other doc right are still yeah. not given or considered do- like not considered frontline doctors do you know their level do you know what, what what's so the level barrier right, because they were working with different department completely right uh, they're, so they're, they're not actual doctors no no they're doctors but say right. you've got like a brain surgeon or you've yeah. got like a that looks at this or so specialist basically yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let me clarify, there's no i don't believe any doctor in any hospital to be a specialist when it comes to covid19 no, they're not, they're not, right yeah. no, they've, no, just no, got, no. they've just got the higher ranked doctors who have more who have probably been working for many years who have got more like you know practice probably yeah. right and put them as frontline yeah, yeah. in these situations I can't say that's facts, right? Yeah. However, that's what it's coming across to me, right? Like and these other doctors are in different departments, right? They're not get given because they're like, oh yeah, but you don't, you're not taking care of the patients, or you don't really have to check the patients, yeah, right? Yeah. With COVID nineteen, they are, they are checking them, 
right? Because if this doctor goes off sick, the bloody the correct equipment to, right? And that equipment that you're giving to that doctor who's gone off sick is for that doctor, right? Meaning that's left that doctor defenseless, defenseless, mm. right? Every mm. single person who's in or in in the hospital, right, interacting with any patient should have the correct. Yeah, I totally, I totally agree with you. I totally. I think you're talking 100 percent facts. Um, I don't disagree with any. <laughs> hey, Jerry's about to get pressed by his mum. <laughs> ah, that is so funny. But I, 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 do, I do agree with what you're saying. Hey, I want to ask you. Again, where's frontline line of them? I just went up there. Like, I look at army frontline. I get it, and like I just I don't. Is risk. with their hands on. Do you get it? Yeah, it's hands technically on. risking your life as well. Isn't it? It's a life risk. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought. Oh, a front line sounded a bit random. That's an army thing. Uh, but that, that's an army. Aren't they? They're looking at it like an army, like uh, it's, 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 a, it's a war. They're in a war and the doctors it's are currently war, the soldiers. That's war. what they. I'm not saying. That's no, I'm not saying you're saying. I'm just saying it's not. Yeah, it's what they're describing it as. You know, that's what they keep uh, saying. Like, oh, oh, we're going against COVID nineteen tonight. You know. Yeah, no, that was my. That was my. But I think that. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> he got pressed. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. I hear that. Um, hey, Joe, anything, anything you want to add to? Oh, we didn't. Probably, we went so off topic. We didn't even talk about the prison shit. So, um, should people be released from prison if they, if pe- no, even if prisons have been known to have coronavirus in there, so should they be allowed to be released? R. Kelly, I said R. Kelly tried. He got denied. Yes. Code at Black. I was talking about this. Other people claiming that they have these conditions. Yeah, but R. Kelly has a condition. Though. This is what I'm trying to say, though. Yes, fuck R. Kelly. Book, book, clack, clack. But are we wishing death upon niggas now? Is that, is that, is that what, is this what we're coming to? I don't, I don't wish, wish death upon anyone, innit? So why are you saying, why can't you come out then? If you're not wishing death on R. Kelly, if he's got a condition and the COVID 19 can kill the bro, why is he not? Why you can't bring Why you not let him out? If my, if, if my dad was a serial killer, me. House and be isolated. Or isolate him in his cell, innit? I guess so. Yeah, you can't say that though, because what? I don't care. I don't you care. don't know who you don't know who in that force, the police officer, the security guard, whoever has got it. That's how he even got to prison. The man they were in prison. <laughs> so whoever had the coronavirus was the people that actually were able to leave and come back. It's not That's it's true. not the fucking inmate. So, uh, how okay. can you say how, he can't isolate? If he so you're does, wishing, you're wishing death upon him, though. I'm not wishing death upon him. I'm not even him. backing. I'm not even backing it. But forget R. Kelly, man. Let's talk about the guy that s- stole some sweets from the grocery. Well, I think it was like milk or some shit. And his his wife had to watch his husband die inside because they wouldn't let him out because the battery's got asthma. Yet six nine is out chilling. I mean, I know he snitched. So no, no. My my thing is, yeah. If these individuals, right, depending on the crime again, yeah, can be yeah. let out and go home and get put under house arrest, meaning they have a tag on, right? Which yeah, but that's what they, that's what they that's what they want to do. That's story, then do. that's fine. But if you've gone and you've murdered X amount of people, or you've done this, that, the other, then I'm sorry, possibly. So do do you think it depends what they have done? So what's considered not a bad crime? So let me. Right. Billion from cocaine. You're allowed that as long as you donate half that. No, but they don't don't even get the money back because the feds (laughs) take it. Remember. Yes, you know it. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's a difficult thing. Like, I can't sit here and I can, like, put a thing on everyone else's life. So I, I'm not, whatever. Coronavirus is a serious thing, as much as people, like, many people out there probably don't think it's still. 
still feel like they don't mm-hmm. think it. But if it is going to be harmful to the individual, then mm-hmm. you've got to take whatever you've got to take. But I'm not the justice system. And if it was me, it would be a different story. But good luck to the government for making that up. Not my business. Not saying that yeah, I, th- I think it's an interesting thing because I remember um, there was a situation where Ellen DeGeneres, I actually think this should be a topic as well, actually, talking about Ellen. But Ellen DeGeneres, she made it. She made a joke, and the joke was like, "Oh, my life is like this. Is, this is this is what it feels like to be in prison." <laughs> she got hella backlash. She got donkey. She got donkey of the. Okay, this is a girl. This is a woman that lives in like a town. I'm saying that her isolation is like being in prison. Yeah. Well, I told like, you she's like, I mean, I understand the comment, but you know, she can she can probably go running in the back garden. You see that? You see the little part thing I was running in her garden in an action. Like, people are right. uninformed on a situation because to say that is like being in prison. When I'm telling you, people are dying left, right, and center in prison. Yeah, that's that's, that's a lady that's so uninformed. Like to, to talk on a subject that you have no visual visual no research of it's so naive and it's so low like none of us are living like good food cooked by whoever in the house can cook unless you're solo i'm sorry you better learn to cook and then you can be in that situation yeah like we can order food we can be on the phone talk to family and friends we can update the world we got the social media it's nothing like prison can i say something though you know these days in prison yeah I'm seeing guys on my Snapchat and Instagram that are um, taking Snapchat videos of them in their cell, having the best time with a whole music set there. <laughs> out like last music. I'm not. Yeah, lying. but like, come on, man. Like, we know we know yeah, people in prison yeah. have access to shit. But my point yeah, is levels. Yeah, yeah, but, it's still levels, yeah but like that's fam. You're yeah. in prison. Why are you making it out like they're living life in fucking the Bahamas? They're in prison. Like <laughs> what? what? <laughs> No, I'm not accepting that as a point. Well, it's a couple of men have got music. Of course, they're allowed, they, they're allowed maybe two hours of music, but they, they have a time limit to this shit. You get me? There's they, a difference between... We can, we can see it 20... No, 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 no. Don't even try that now. You know, you're uninformed as well. You need to you need to get informed. No one in prison can have a music player unless you're Rick Ross for the whole day. Listen, wait, you're saying I'm in a, uninformed about people... Yeah, you, you just said they can do the whole night, man. I'm in a second, yeah? My dad, right, has been in prison multiple times. So don't come out oh, here. And talk- oh, are you sure you want to announce that type of shit? For me? <laughs> are you sure you want to announce? Well, hold on, hold on. Are you sure you want to announce that type of shit? <laughs> 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 like, I was shook, you know. I don't know. If I, I don't know if I would announce that. You know. <laughs> okay. I don't care. You can't come here saying I'm in, uninformed. The point is, the fact is. Back then, yeah. it's, it's yeah, but, not allowed. Okay, back right? then, yeah, it's 2020. It's but... not allowed. You're not allowed to have. Yes, you'll get certain luxuries if, depending on what you're doing. Like, like yeah, Joe well, said, well, like playing like, snake on a yeah. Nokia or what? Like, what? what, 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 what no, what, 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 no, man. They give you a phone with social media still, fam. You can get social media on that still, fam. You, sh- they shouldn't have that. However, if you've got links in there, if you're smart with what you do, you get that stuff in it. I've had I've had guys in prison where I found out I'm like, hang on a second, you're in prison and you're trying to chat to Yeah, me. but this is what I'm saying. <laughs> you're talking about somebody you're talking about people that got their skill set to survive in prison. I'm talking about the everyday living nigga in prison. Just people in prison. Not, not, not some Rick Ross that can get a TV screen in his fucking I wasn't trying to say, yeah, that oh Ellen's right or whatever. She's absolutely wrong for saying that, right? I don't think oh, any celebrity you know. Right. Don't do what Dre Matthews. Is that yeah. there's a lot of celebrities that are making comments, right? Did you hear what Vanessa yeah. Hudgens? Nah, do you hear what she what she said? No, what she said. Vanessa Hudgens goes, yeah. Like, let's be real, guys. Like, you know, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Right. Facts so. yeah, Facts. Right, that was a good. That was a good voice. Huh? <laughs> that, 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 that was quite. Cause she sounds that white as well. That was good. <laughs> so she came out there and she made dumb comments. 
been like that. There's multiple celebrities during this pandemic have made oh, she, 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 ain't, ain't she like on cocaine all the time though? She's like in and out of rehab and shit. Man. No, that's yeah, a Lovato. A... That was Lovato. Oh, Demi Lovato. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Now go, sorry, Karen. Sorry, Karen. The, the reason why they're making dumb comments like this or making dumb statements is because they live in a completely different life from us. I'll be honest with you, you know when this pandemic started, yeah? I kid you not, yeah? yeah? Worried. I wasn't worried about myself. I was more worried about people I don't know, the the kids that are gonna have. Right, who who live in domestic abusive household to survive yeah, yeah, because yeah. a few years back that would be. You get me, right? So my my sort of connect with these people is different compared to their connection i'm sorry they live in life they've got no connection meaning my point stupid. yeah what ellen said was absolutely stupid like you said she cannot compare it to being in prison my point yeah, of yeah, yeah. Prison, actually you know what yeah it's 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 funny how in prison you're supposed to be in prison but you're still getting these luxuries in prison right but that's because they're being smart or whatever they're doing to get those luxuries yeah mm. it's not that oh ellen's right who's right etc it's the fact that people are actually getting a lot more than they could before in prison do you know what i mean depending on what they do they are they are come on you're telling me that oh you <laughs> look before they forget they had smartphones I yeah. I, not, what do you mean? You're telling me niggas can be a full snake on their phone? It's 2020, babe. Unless, unless, you, unless you've been in prison since 1980. But that's what yeah, I'm that's saying, different. though, isn't it? Like, <laughs> time has changed. I'm not saying that, oh, you know, having the best time of their life. I'm not saying that. I'm They're saying having the that, worst time in their yeah, life. Yeah, but they shouldn't have done the crime. Mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did. Listen, 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 listen. I need to. I might need to clarify because I sound like I'm rating prison niggas. I just don't. I, I'm just. I'm talking about co- co- coronavirus and dying through coronavirus. I think it's unfair for anyone, yeah, regardless of their circumstance, to die through. And we got bad people live. We have rapists that are still on the streets that are surviving in their home carefully. So. I mean, I guess you can say you shouldn't get caught. Let's just say that. All right, cool. If you do crime, don't get caught. Whatever. But my point is, they need to come up with a way. If I'm, I don't even care if they, they go to the prison and go, all right, cool, we need to get everybody tested. If you don't have coronavirus, you stay on this side of the prison and you can't go past this part. It, and then the other people with, with the virus, unfortunately, have to stay this side. And then you, man, I don't know, you can get some doctors in there to try and cure them. But to just let them die, I think it's a bit corny, man. I, I think that's weak. I think that's yeah. hella weak. Because yeah. for, if, if, if Donald Trump had a daughter in jail, he's, so he's getting her up tomorrow morning. If anybody that has power has people in prison, they're getting them out tomorrow morning. Let's just talk back. Money talks. If Donald Trump yeah, has a daughter true. in jail, Facts. she's out tomorrow morning. So let's treat everybody exactly the same. We've got to give everybody the same level of treatment. You get me? Six uh. nine got out because he's got money and he sniffed. All right, cool. If Nick Six nine can get up having asthma, every other dog in that prison should be getting out with asthma with the same treatment. You gotta yeah, treat yeah. everybody the same, man. That's all I was saying. I'm not trying to say, oh, Kelly should be allowed out. If he's got a condition, do something. I would fix up the prison so that everybody that's clear can stay on this side and everybody that's not clear can go on this side. If that's the way you want to do it, do that. Keep them in prison, do that. But to just be like, all right, cool, niggas got to die here because he did the crime. This dude got caught. That's corny because we all know if there was a famous guy in prison that had bad connections, like 6 9 you're out of prison. <laughs> So, yeah. you got to use the same energy. Sorry, that's, that's my whole point. All right, cool. Uh, I guess the conversation's done now. Um, you've been uh, tuned into the uh, Chat and Chill podcast. Ah, uh, oh, no, 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 no. You're not ending <laughs> up on that one. <laughs> that's exactly how I do it as well. Yeah. You forgot to conclude it, though. You always got to conclude it, man. Do the conclusion. Bro. You did the conclusion. Everyone needs to be treated the same. Done. That's it. Oh, yeah, true. I did. I think you did it anyway. <laughs> cool. You've been uh, li- li- well, I was about to say live, fam. You've been uh, thank joining you everybody us. for joining in on the Chat and Show podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed the conversations we had today. Big shout out to Sidra Ali or Sidra Kanwal Ali for joining us today. 
our first guest of this quarantine podcast session with Chai <laughs> Chiu. Um, we will be having many more podcasts, probably daily, because we ain't got fuck all to do. Yep. <laughs> we will be doing it daily. Um, and again, big shout out to Sidra. Sidra, do you want to say any social media accounts or people listening on all these streaming rooms? Yeah, um, uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Sidra K. Ali, um, or my photography Instagram, sk.photography, on uh, um, all socials, Instagram, and I don't think I have a Twitter, actually. So, yeah. You don't? <laughs> okay. Don't forget to also follow Chat and Chill at Chat Chill Show on all major platforms. Mm. We are back on Snapchat as well because I now have two phones, Bola. And um, so you can... Bola legally or like what, what's, 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 what's oh, the situation? Up, man. Man. This guy, if, I, man. if I mistake. <laughs> ah, you guys try this. I ain't that black, okay? Listen, that's not why I was ticking up I, in the prison, guys. <laughs> well, is, is, is business still running normal? these times or what's, what's then what's then bro joe is getting dark if you don't know no, how is he getting light yeah, how is that i'm getting lighter light? and this guy's getting darker <laughs> hey listen uh, listen I'm, I'm the king man you know what i'm saying light skin sharif is back in full of oh, um, wait, man, right, cool. this has been the podcast with your boy faras joe mk and Sidra K. Ale. I will see you back here next time. Ka -ka -ka. Bro, get his own yeah, I'm not gonna lie, we're gonna start, have to start doing these from now on. Hey, wait, wasn't David supposed to come on the podcast? No, he, he said he wanted to, but he's, he's doing his. Doing